Hi everyone. Are you excited for the new egg in Adopt Me? They were sharing this video. And this looks like a city. Will it be a city egg? I can't wait. Because of this new egg I decided to do a city build. It's going to be more realistic than Adopt Me. I'll show you what I've built so far. Here we are. I thought it would be fun to spawn in a phone booth. Let's do a tour. I love adding tiny details to a build, so here are two tiny racks. I made working traffic lights, crossroads and street lights. There's a sewer pipe. I still need to add more decorations. I'll be showing you how to build these houses too. We got new cars in the last update, they look awesome. These are supposed to be beds but I'll use them as cars. We used to be able to give each other cars to drive in houses, but Adopt Me disabled this. We can't do it anymore. Now you can only use cars if you have a big house like the Sandbox Island or the new racetrack house. You can also place a car using the vehicle display. All the costs depends on how many things you're going to use. A big city like this can go up to 25,000 or even more expensive. Let's start building. How to build street lights. For builds like this it's better to put your placement grid size on medium. This one is a little bit bigger, but that doesn't matter. You only need to build one of these and clone them so they will always be the same. Make sure there are no objects behind it or else you'll select something else. You can even create double lights. There are new cars. I forgot to record this part but you can place the cheapest sofa inside the car so it looks like you're driving. How to build a house? I'll show you two ways of making these houses. First I'll do the fake house. You won't be able to enter this house. Maybe it's easier if you build it with a cube but I like doing it this way. Now we're going to change the front so we can actually use it as a house. Perfect! You can add a floor and place furniture inside. Place a rectangular beam to create a chimney. You can add a doorbell too. Resize a brick and place a tiny mushroom. Now let's clone the whole house to create another one. You can clone as many houses as you want. This is how I made the tunnel. Place large curved doorways and clone them. How to build a phone booth. I don't even remember seeing these phone booths somewhere in my country. Do you have them in your country?
You need to place these glass walls and strings on every side of the phone booth. I'll show it once. Let's extend the road by cloning it. Now let's build a parking lot. Let's create a trash can. Let's build traffic lights. The traffic lights actually work. You can turn off the lights. Let's create a tiny rat. I recommend building it bigger because it's hard to see what you're doing. You can always resize it after you're done. Now let's create a sewer pipe or something like that. I can feel you flow this is how you create flowers. Make sure multicolor is on. That's all I got for today, I will be building shops in other videos.
Make sure to leave a comment to join my Ride Potion giveaway. I'll reply the winner on Monday.